What up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Today we are showcasing you guys a wager match. We are playing for this 95 overall Kelis Campbell. And uh, we are going up against the YOLO squadron. So hopefully we can go on ahead and be successful. This is, I believe, the first uh, gameplay that I will be showing you guys with 99 Marshawn Lynch and 99 Willis, 99 Joe Thomas, and 99 Patrick Peterson all added to the squadron. So uh, Campbell's going for about, I want to say like 35, 40K, maybe even 50. I'm not sure exactly how much he's going for but uh we start off the game with the screenplay most of the time it, it was a little laggy um but most of the time i usually start with that one right there hb base going towards the right side um you know if blocking is on point you know we can have some success but i figure you know i always start with that and you guys watch the stream so you guys know my place so let's switch it up a little bit with a little screeny screen we actually did good right here we got bo jackson with them fresh legs baby them fresh legs right here we go back outside the legend he breaks the tackle and he ends up just getting hammered right there. Ooh, bad throw. By, I should have just took off. Bad throw. Uh, that right there is overturned due to the ground causing the fumble. Um, bad just read. But thankfully, get out the way, man. But thankfully, um, you know, he over pursued right there. Uh, just threw it out of bounds right there. Second and 10, we go back to beast mode. Lynch hit the outside. Bam! Oh, man. You got 101 stiff arm. Every time I hit that A button, it should be like that old school old gen you know stiff arm glitch i should be tiger i should be knocking folks out man hit him to the left hit him to the right i should be knocking folks out man but we had ourselves a good successful drive as always i always feel confident being able to move the ball against anybody in the world this is where i struggle at all i'm not confident doing too much on defense so this is where i'm a little worried uh right there breaks the tackle falls forward man we had him in the backfield but uh, right there throws a nice little fadeaway dot and of course my users tackling is horrible and we end up missing right there we end up getting a big sack towards the right side forcing a third and eight we end up sending a blitz right up the middle getting a huge sack and we end up forcing a punt on fourth and 16 so uh you know got him to you know get some huge huge sacks on us by sending some pressure right here pat pete first time he touches the ball first time pat pete ever ever touches the ball and he ends up getting a touchdown uh, unfortunately after that the game lagged out so we had to uh recreate it that's why the time is a little different if you noticed uh when we scored that touchdown it was like 211 something like that so now the time you see 207 uh we had to recreate it because the game froze that's what sucks with doing wagers that you have to redo everything right there don't Test the user. He is so dis. Respectful. Somebody, please remind that young gentleman that he has a link to my channel. Let him know. Do not throw the ball my way as we end up getting ourselves a very huge, huge interception. Giving us the opportunity to go up uh, three possessions right here. We go back outside with Marshawn. I was, you know, playing for the field goal. And it's crazy how often that works out in my benefit. You know, where I'm just like third and 12. I'm already in field goal. Let me just play for the field goal. You know, we just end as he sheds a sack right there. Um, you know, I was just, you know, preparing to get three yards and take my field goal. But we end up uh, getting ourselves a touchdown, which we would gladly take. Huge one-handed animation by him right there. And he ends up kicking a field goal. So, uh, it kind of gives him a little glimpse of hope left. You know, not too much, but, you know, just a skosh being able to kick that field goal right there. You know, if he can score, you know, um, it's then a 10-point game. So, who knows what can happen, you know. So, it gives him a little bit of hope. But 21-3, to we definitely feel, you know, good considering most of, as Sherman got destroyed on that press right there. Um, gives us a, a, a good enough cushion to where, you know, our defense uh doesn't factor in the loss or win this game it truly does here's up to my offense if i lose this game i can't say my defense failed me it's it's my offense right here you know like he scored right there it sucks but we still have the if we score he can't win we just have to match his score it's all we got to do so uh i definitely feel like it's up to our offense to go on ahead and win from here on out another run right there lynch breaks a tackle which is always a beautiful thing when you get those manual uh broken ta uh tackles where, you know, I didn't do a juke or a spin move or stiff arm. He just had a guy bounce right off him. We go up top to Matthews. I don't know what happened, but uh, right before I threw the ball, the cornerback just took a sharp angle towards the middle of the field, left him wide open. So we threw it right over the top. He was, like, so wide open. And uh, we ended up getting the touchdown. So second and nine right here, play action. He goes deep up top. And at this point, you have to expect him to try and 
um, you know, be desperate at, you know, in a sense, you know, try to avoid the running game. And he's definitely going to need big plays and big plays in a hurry. Fourth and nine, he decides to punt. Not really sure, uh, you know, about that, considering uh, we've been able to do so well offensively. Right here, we roll out with Vic. And I did not think... Uh, he dropped the, the interception, which is definitely good for us. I didn't think he was going to continue to pay, play the route. I thought he was going to come down and uh, try to prepare me with running with Vic. But unfortunately, he did not. Again, I'm trying to stiff for him. I just cannot... You know, I'm not doing any jukes or anything. You do know that that 96... Um, excuse me, not 96. That 99, Marshawn, has 96 elusiveness, 99 juking. So I could definitely juke anybody. Um, but I just want to see if i can get you know freaky with that stiff arm i'm trying i'm trying to hit him with the tiger man it's just not working i just cannot seem to be punching folks in the face right here we go to miller and we end up scoring a touchdown at this point you know it's uh, definitely safe to say that we got this victory in the bag you know even if he scores uh it, it don't matter because next time i get the ball i'm killing clock that's what i do if i feel like you're trying to win this game i'm killing clock man i gotta do what i gotta do so um you know my hypothesis so far of the minuscule time I've had with Lynch's, he's an absolute goon. He feels fast. And I and I like that. I like that he feels fast. Uh, there's certain running backs that I just do not get that feeling with. Like 95, uh, 95, uh, that's not uh, Boss Willis. 94 Speed Willis feels fast. I feel like I can cover a tremendous amount of ground. I feel like I can run hash mark to hash mark extremely quick. And uh, there's certain players that I just don't get that feeling with. Like uh, any version of Jamal Charles, I don't know. I just don't feel like he was, he felt fast. You know, like you knew he was fast, but he just didn't feel fast. You know, mystery Chris Johnson, 98 speed, 99 Excel beast. But he just doesn't feel that fast. I don't know why, it's weird. But this Marshawn, I feel like he moves. Maybe... It's because of the size difference. Maybe when you see this big old uh, monstrous, powerful back having that speed, um, it gives you the illusion that he's so quick since he's moving so fast and he's such a big back. Um, he's probably not even that big. I don't, Bo Jackson is huge. That we know. But uh, this Marshawn, he just feels incredibly fast, man. And uh, I'm definitely enjoying him. I haven't really worked on his juking or spins or anything like that. All I really try to do is stiff arms, you know. But, hey, he, he's a beast, man. That's why they call him Beast Mode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy, GS. We won that wager match. We're going to go on ahead and be signing out. Peace.